like feel any different after scoring that touchdown? Honestly, no. It's just trying to score another touchdown like it. I mean, it make life a little bit more sweeter. But I'm just trying to just trying to create more game winning moments like that, just special moments that are help bond our team and the catapult and us to where we need to be by the end of the year. How much of a catapult is that for you to now have a play like that under your belt? Um, it's good. I say it's good in a um, leadership role. Just that I have like a little bit more of that back end just with, with playing experience and making big time plays to, you know, really help push guys along during practice and whatnot. Because I'm just a firm believer in like whatever you do in the game, it just, um, just reflects like how much leadership you can bring to a team. And just having a moment like that just instills more leadership that I can bring to the team. Chip, are you aware? I don't think nobody was aware. Honestly, I don't think nobody was aware until we all got on our phones after we went into the locker room when the game was over. So when you took that, you took a dive, obviously, you weren't aware of it. So should be there. <laughs> no, idea, right? nah, it was it was definitely weird. Um, I knew something looked funny over there, but um, it's so crazy because like ultimately, like with that play call, like that play went without the front side. So you know, find a way to get the yard to get the yard, and we did. Would it have been any different if they had a time? Nah, it wouldn't have been different. Is it is it possible at all that like that confused Josh? Like he didn't know he didn't have anybody to block. I, I and think, that, yeah. I think so, but you know, in the moment, in the moment we did it, but afterwards you asked like all like the what if questions or whatnot. So I'm just glad we got yeah. it. Yeah. Chip, Barbara just called you one of the more respected players in the team. What does that kind of mean to you? What does that say about your leadership abilities? Mar said that about me? Mm -hmm. nah, that, um, nah, I appreciate that a lot. Um, you know, I work day in, day out. I mean, I just come into the building with a hard hat mentality, just like another work day, just trying to stack days. But um, it means a lot that I got my peers like Marvin saying that. But I mean, just seeing just seeing his work ethic and like all the wide receivers work ethics, you know, like that type of stuff makes you want to grind harder. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you come to Ohio State and you're around great players and you see what they do in their daily routine, it makes you want to add something new or different to like your, your nuance or your routine. So definitely seeing those guys work hard, definitely, you know, strives me to work harder and ultimately achieve greatness. Is that something you kind of expected when you came here to kind of be sort of a, that leader on the team or gain the respect of your teammates? Is that something you expected to happen? Um, quite frankly, yeah, just from just from the way I carry myself. Um, but I believe as like a university like this, you either, when you come to a school like Ohio State, you either rise to be an alpha among the groups of, of other alphas or like you kind of get diminished at the bottom. But you know, we have a handful of guys that's on this team that's that doesn't get diminished by competition, that they just rise to the occasion. So we definitely um, breed on competition here at Ohio State. When you make a play like that in that moment, does that validate your decision to transfer here and become a Buckeye? Um, it definitely does. But, you know, at the end of the day, ultimately, um, you know, it's, it's God's plan and God's way. I'm just grateful that I was just available to be in that moment, whether that's like health-wise, durability-wise, but just I'm just grateful that I was an option to even be put in at the end of the um, at the end of the game, and thankfully we made the play happen. How much have you watched that replay? Uh, I watched it a lot, but I would say I'm more so more so I watched the video of like the team running onto the field more because I catch I catch like different angles and like <laughs> different you just you just catch something more every time you watch it, so it's fun. You know, it's definitely. Um, Definitely a memory-filled moment that we'll all cherish, you know, for the rest of our lives. That we can say. It kind of looked like your leg and your knee were maybe going down, and then you like somehow kept your leg and your knee up. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. like what did you do? How did you do that? <laughs> nah, um, the, this is so crazy because the play it happened so fast but so slow at the same time. Like the play happened fast, but it felt like I was falling slow. But the only thing I was just telling myself was just to keep my knees up, keep my knees up. And, um, you know, I knew I knew what it took. And um, as I just looked across that line, and I was just staring at the ref and just seeing him with his arms up. It was definitely a great validated feeling. Is there not a clock, but there's something on your mind. There's going to be somebody, somebody coming backside. I got it, you know what I mean? The, yeah. And that guy did come hard, you know, from the from your left side and stuff. Or, you're aware of all that. You even talked about it a little bit after the game and stuff. But, what is the key there for a running back to make sure the backside guy doesn't get it? 
Um, I mean, really, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, you beat him, but yeah. you know what I mean? Go ahead. Um, really, with that play, you just want to stay tight to the line of scrimmage. Um, get a good mesh point, but just stay tight to the line. Because, um, like, as a running back or a ball carrier of any sort, you, you just don't want to come too wide and just, you know, help the defender's angle. So if you're tight, tight to the line as possible, then that defender, he can only maybe get one arm on you. But by that time, if you run at full speed, that arm ain't going to stop you. Chip, has there, has there been a time over this off week or over the last, week, the last off week where you almost pinched yourself? Like, not only did you come back to Ohio State, uh, but you came back to play linebacker, but you switched to running back. And then all of a sudden, you know, you scored the winning touchdown in one of the great games in Ohio State history. Is that, has that hit you yet? I mean, I guess it has probably, but what's that like? Um, quite frankly, it has, but, you know, God willing, I've been able to stay grounded through it. Um, I know the first thing I told Coach Alfred that following Monday was that, like, you know, having that moment is great and all, but I didn't come to Ohio State to have one moment. I came here to have many moments. So, I mean, I'm just using that as motivation just to keep striving and keep pushing the greatness. How long does it Last take question. to come down from that game? Um, not long at all. I mean, this team, we're very goal-oriented. So we know what, what has to be done by the end of the season and who's the real big um, test at the end of the season. But, you know, that was a great test just to see for the first for the first time what our team was made of. And um, I'm kind of sure we all reassured each other, like, all right, we got each other's back through, throughout the stretch of the season. Sorry, Chip, just last one. If I don't know what you guys would ever decide to do, but if there was a decision to try the quarterback sneak where everybody pushes the quarterback, mm -hmm. how would you feel about pushing your quarterback? I'm pushing them all the way in there. <laughs> Chip, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Get on the track.